how to create a hypnotic circle animation in DaVinci Resolve 17.2.2. Inside your edit window, go to effects library, under toolbox, select effects, and go to find fusion composition. Select one of these effect filters and drag this to your edits timeline. Select the fusion composition edit, hold in control and press D, use command instead of control if you are a Mac user, to open up the change clip duration window. I will adjust the duration of this fusion composition clip to 10 seconds. Right click on your expanded fusion composition clip and go to open in fusion page. Inside your nodes panel, we will insert a tool that will enable us to create the circle that will make up our hypnotic animation effect. Hold shift and press space. Using the search box at the bottom, go to find the ellipse tool, select this and go to click on add. Drag your mouse cursor underneath the ellipse node to reveal two buttons, the left and right view options. Choose one of these to see a preview of your circle above your fusion timeline. Ensure that your timeline pointer is at the first frame of this clip. In this case here, it will be zero, as we can tell from the box in the bottom left corner underneath the fusion timeline itself. The frame pointer that can be adjusted will appear in the bottom right corner instead. With the ellipse node selected, go to Inspector, and underneath Controls, select the keyframe diamond icons for the width and height variables. By clicking once in each of the diamond icons to the right of these particular labels, we will now set the size of the circle as it will appear at the start of its lifespan. Change width and height to 0.01. Now select the keyframe diamond icon for the border width variable. The value set to this should be 0.0, .0 by default. If you wish to add a blurred edge to your circles, you can increase the value for the soft edge variable also, such as 0.015 for example. In this particular project, I'm going to stick with the default value for this variable as 0.0. .0. In this particular project, I'm going to make the circle expand in size across a 5 second duration, where the border width also increases gradually. Duplicates of the same circle will appear one by one and expand outwards to create the hypnotic effect. To create the circle size expansion, I now need to adjust the frame pointer on my fusion timeline to the frame which appears halfway. The frame rate of the fusion clip is 24. In this case here, since my 10 second fusion compound clip comprises of 240 frames altogether, the frame number at the halfway section will be 119. Double click in the pointer box in the bottom right corner underneath your timeline to enter this frame number. Under inspector and controls once again, increase width and height to 2.0. We need to ensure that we create ring shapes rather than whole circles with the middle also filled with a color. In order to remove the central color and keep the ring surrounding of your ellipse shape, untick solid. Now go to the final frame on your 10 second fusion composition clip. In this case here it will be 239. As we can see from the second box towards the bottom left side underneath the timeline. The pointer can also be adjusted manually by dragging the red pointer on the timeline itself. Increase board width here to 0.2. At present we have a single white ring which expands off screen and out of view by roughly 3 seconds of screen time. What we need to do to create the hypnotic effect is to duplicate these rings. We can also change the colour of the rings with the following instructions. Hold in shift and press space and go to add a background tool. Select the grey box which appears to the right of your ellipse 1 node and drag your mouse cursor to the blue arrow which appears to the left of background 1. With the background 1 node selected, go to inspector and under colour, double click on the colour box under background and choose your preferred shade using the options. The hex decimal code for this particular colour shade in this project will be hashtag FF00FF. Click OK when you are done. And with the background one node selected, hold in shift and press space again. And go to add the duplicate node. With the duplicate one node selected, go to inspector and underneath controls, 
find the copies and time offset variables. Copies will determine how many duplicates of our ellipse rings will be shown in this animation. The delay between each ring appearance will be determined by the time offset variable. In this particular project, I'm going to add 10 copies in total. For the time offset value, I wish for each of the rings to appear after 12 frames that make up half a second of screen time. In order to apply this setting, I will therefore change time offset to minus 12. If we set a positive integer here on the other hand, all the rings will appear at the start of my animation instead. Should you wish to add transparency to your rings, return to your ellipse node and reduce the value for level so that you are able to see video and images from video tracks below a fusion composition clip if your edit timeline comprises of multiple media files. For now, I'm going to keep level set to one. And finally, connect your duplicate one node to media out one. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.